Hello everyone, this is Andrew. Today I'm here to show you two great devices from Rainpoint that will help you manage the water in your garden. After today's video, you will be able to fully understand how to use both of these products. Two models of the digital water controllers, the ITV 101 Pro and the 105. We'll open the 101 Pro first. First step, the battery compartment. It is a little tight as it is waterproof. Two AA batteries. And insert it back in. Now that I've inserted the batteries, I'm going to show you how to set up your watering plant. First, we will set the clock. Turn the dial to set clock. Here, you can choose the day. Today is Friday. Click the plus button. Click OK. As you can see, it's on the 24 hour time setting. Hold the OK button to go to the 12 hour time setting. It is currently 10. 20 in the morning. After you set the clock, turn the dial to start time. As you can see on the left side, there's a P1. This stands for plan one. There are three plans available. We'll set the first one to 8 a.m. Click the plus sign to go to the hours, eight o'clock. Click okay, okay. P2, as you can see, is off. Here, it's at 12 a.m. If you cycle all the way through, you don't want to have plan two off. Click OK. Plan three. We'll set this for 3 p.m. We'll set it for 3.05 p.m. Click OK. You're back to plan one. Turn the dial to confirm. Now we're on the how long part of the dial. As you can see on the left side, we are on plan one. The hours are blinking. Let's say we want to do two hours. Click the plus button to get to two hours. Click OK. OK again, now you're on plan two, which we set to off. Now we're on plan three, which we set to 3.05 p.m. Here we will click the plus button and the hours are now blinking. Click it again. Now this goes from one minute to three hours and 59 minutes. So if you go over three hours and 59 minutes, it automatically turns it off. Click the plus button again. We'll set this one for one hour. Click OK. Click OK again, and you're back to plan one. Now we'll turn the dial to how often. Here is where you determine how often you'll be watering your garden. Click OK to confirm Sunday. Press the plus button to skip a day. We already have Wednesday highlighted and we will do Friday. Now, you have the option to do every. So when you get to every, click OK. Now you can water every two days, three days, four days, five days, or six days. We'll set it to three days. Don't click OK, just turn the dial to view set. Now we're on the view set of the dial. Here is where you can see the overview of the plans you just set. Plan one, start time 8 a.m. for two hours. Plan two, we set to off. Plan three, starting at 3.05 p.m. for one hour. And you can see that this will be occurring every three days. Now, set, switch it to on. When you switch it to on, your plan is ready to go. You can see that the next watering will be in four hours and 24 minutes. And here's your current time, 10.41 on Friday. Now let's say you want to water your plants because it's really hot outside. And, not, and you don't want to wait for the next cycle. So hold OK down. You can hear that pop noise. So just open it up and it is watering your plants now for 10 minutes. 
It is set to 10 minutes, that cannot be changed. If you want to turn this off, you can either hold OK again, or just go back to off and back to on and your regular plan will be started. Now we're gonna look at the difference between the 101P and the 105. The 105 is very similar to the 101P in that you turn the dial to confirm all of your settings. One of the differences is that you have a plus button and a minus button, as well as an OK button to set your time. Another difference is the plans. So on this one, you only have one plan to choose from instead of three. The other difference is when you're on the on section, the 105 has a delay mode to prevent excess water in your garden. Here you hold the delay button for three seconds. And now your next watering will not start for another 11 hours and 14 minutes. This always sets to 12 hours. Just like the 101P, the 105 has a manual override mode to give your garden some extra water in case it's really hot outside. Click and hold the manual button and you'll hear the pa sound and from there it'll water your garden for 10 minutes. If you want to turn it off, click and hold manual again, it turns it off. Or, if the manual mode is on, all you have to do is turn the dial and it's off as well. As you saw in the video, the 101P is a very comprehensive controller that is able to handle most of your daily watering needs. The 105 is a simpler version, but is also still able to handle your daily watering needs. I hope after this video you were able to make a decision based on what you will need in your garden. See you next time.